All right, so I didn't show the safety rating and everything. Uh, we were at a safety rating of A and a skill rating of 4,734, so for 41, it hasn't really changed too much. So we're at Watkins Glen. We're still doing the R class races here. In the first quarter, as always, just a bunch of smoke and chaos and cars off on the wide. Uh, we go all the way from uh, 20th, 22nd to 13th. And then we have the Radical there that uh, took another guy out, and uh, we're all the way up into 10th now. Going into 9th, uh, we gave the uh, this P2 car class a uh, chance on the uh, R class. I thought it would be really good with the better handling here. And uh, unfortunately we get slowed through here, we kind of get the Ferrari bump, but get through there pretty clean without any penalties. And then we're able to go all around on the inside. Ferrari and the Porsche. The Porsche has a good run out of here because he just got better speed, but uh, with our better uh, handling, we get uh, the position here and we get a little loose trying to avoid that car in the grass, but uh, we're able to get out and the Radical here uh, caused a little issue and we end up hitting him off, unfortunately. And um, so we're back in the eighth. The Porsche goes a little wide in the grass, um, but we're able to catch back up to him on this corner just because of our better handling. Bring us all the way up in seventh place. Been a pretty chaotic first lap here. And then we uh, didn't expect him to not accelerate out of that corner as much as we thought they would, and we end up hitting the back of him here. We let that uh, Corvette go since. Uh, we didn't want to go too wide through that tight corner. But then, uh, try to do it through this corner and we kind of get smushed between him and the Porsche. And the Ferrari ends up making this pass. So we're, after the first lap, we're down to 10th. And then, first corner again, they all decide to just draw, run them off the uh, course there and we end up getting 6th place. We did learn, run a little bit wide. I don't know how the other people didn't get any penalties, but we got a 0.8 second penalty and the uh, Corvette here decided to just give us a nice bump draft here. And then coming into this corner here, we kind of made a mistake. We should have just left it, but we tried to you know, go too wide and run it through, but that Corvette ends up spinning us out. And then we get pushed back into 14th. But we caught up by uh, the next corner here. I guess this is the next lap. And the Audi here, I don't know what happens to him. He just launches himself into the wall. And we're running right next to this. Uh, I believe that's a BMW. But we just, the better handling kind of helps us here. And we're able to get around him pretty easily. Get a little loose coming out of that corner here. Coming in this chicane here. Uh, we, we have some more people spinning out. Uh, let's us get some position here. Uh, we're all the way up into 10th now. Even though we had a, not the best run on this race, but it was still pretty exciting. And then uh, we're all the way up into 9th. Go too wide in this corner. Uh, we let the Corvette go just because we have the penalty and we know we weren't gonna beat them on that, so instead of giving us a bigger penalty or anything, we just let them go. And across the line here, we end up getting 10th position. Uh, wasn't the best race, is kind of our mistake there for trying to go too wide in that chicane, but we're back here at Lime Rock in the Camaro, and we are gonna start out in six here but we uh, kind of went on the outside here just knowing that there's gonna be a lot of chaos and people just flying through that Audi just didn't break at all he just went full ram a lot of people backing up on that first section there but we're all the way back to 14th after qualifying in six so uh, that's the one downside if you get on bad qualifying or like on the outside of uh, not the front row you're most likely not gonna have a great race here And the uh, car in front gets, gets a little loose. We're able to stick with him here. Go in this corner, and he bumps someone wide. We're able to get that position. 
falling through and then we're falling in this car in front of us I, I don't know what that gold car is it looks like some sort of long tail I wonder if it's a Porsche but he ends up crashing into that guy and uh, the other guy pushes back and ends up spinning him out and we're just trying to gain position here while staying a little bit clean it's really hard to do on this track a lot of people are pretty aggressive uh, we have a car off in front of us here into the grass and uh, this group of cars in front of us is getting a little aggressive but we're able to get on the inside of that uh, current zeg and then we didn't realize that guy was just gonna come across us in our nose like that and we uh, kind of pushed him over unfortunately he got a little loose it looks like but uh, get flying past by that Ferrari and uh, we get both of them all the way up into ninth position. We had a little issue and uh, we ended up getting in the grass and all the way back to 12th here. But we ended up getting past that car and we're following up this Ferrari. And we're just sitting right on his tail here. And we're able to get a better run out of that corner than he was. And then coming from this corner we get pushed by that car. And uh, we didn't have any spin off or any crash or any penalty, at least. But And then the Koenig Zeg ended up going really wide on that one and just crashing the barrier. Luckily, we were able to get past him. And then coming up, we push a little too hard into this corner here. And we get in the grass and uh, we hit the barrier. And that kind of just screwed us over pretty hard. So, unfortunately, that wasn't a great race, but. We end up uh, getting 11th, so qualifying there just kind of screwed us over. Uh, Race Boy was actually in this. Race Boy 77 was actually in this race, and uh, he ended up taking first place. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching the video. I'll see you for the next episode.